Hello and welcome to Stream Tabulous. So I want to try to do a couple of new videos and these ones are going to be reviews on models that I like and that I'm using or models that I may come across which are really bad and you should probably know about it. Uh, so my stitches are out so I'm able to do more videos and yeah we'll get on with the show. We'll go over to the intro and then we'll take a look at today's model. So we're coming over to the Axisius XL model here, uh, which I'm loving these lightning models. On the old GTX 1070, I'm finding that they're running a lot, lot faster and um, they're just absolutely beautiful. The prompt adherence is fantastic. And we want to take a look at that with this uh, new line of video reviews that I'm doing, is talking about prompt adherence as well. Because we want a model which pays attention to what we're actually telling it. So I'll leave a link below for um, this model so you can get over and download it. And it's just as simple as clicking on download, downloading it and putting it in your model directory, which I have talked about in prior videos. Uh, I'll leave a link to one of those videos below. So if you don't know where to put these models, you will know where to put them. So coming across, this is the one I like right here. So you've got various ones that you can come through and try. Uh, it's this lightning model that I'm playing with at the moment. And um, to start with, because it is a merge model, I noticed that there was some uh, adherence issues to the prompt because uh, I felt that it was related to the Juggernaut uh, model. But uh, after playing with it for a while, I realized uh, this one needs a little fine tuning with the way the prompt is, and we'll um, show that in a moment. Uh, we also have the version two without the lightning. I don't find this one to be that good and I'll show you why. And then we have the new Wild Child, which I actually haven't tried. So I've downloaded those and I've moved them across. Now, of course, it comes down and talks about the steps and what you should run. With Kryter, we don't have this uh, sampler, so we're unable to run that. So we'll have to run it with uh, different samplers and see how we go, which may affect the render a little bit. Um, but we'll take a look at that anyway. So we'll go across to Kryder quickly and we'll have a look. So here we are in Kryder, and I've already run a couple of different renders. And this render here is actually done with Dream Shaper. And I wanted to show like um, some of these prompt adherences that we run into. So we run Dream Shaper. And it's a lightning model, and we can already see that it's running really quickly, considering it's on a GTX 1070, which is also doing all its rendering of the video capture through OBS through the graphics card itself. So while that's rendering, some things we want to remember is if you have the video graphics card, make sure it is on the video there. Under the Performances tab, I recommend it doesn't matter what you're actually running, even if you're running something like a, um, a 4070 Ti with 12 gig, uh, you can get better performance having it as low. And then I just find there's less issues with the uh, render times. You're not waiting as long, so uh, you can usually work on bigger pictures. And of course, you can change that when you're doing your upscaling as well, which is a little tip. So yeah, and then we can come through to the fusion here. This is your selection boundaries. So when you select an area, I recommend my personal preference is having that one on too. Blurring it and the feather in, I'd probably have it on one. And the padding for around the selection, I'd have on two as well. And depending on what you do, you may be playing with that. Restore it to defaults if uh, you're having issues. So we can see this is Dream Shaper. So um, not too good on the faces. And this is my prompt here. And if we hold over top, we should see that prompt popped up there. And I don't know if you can see that all on the screen. So I'm going to do an entire video on prompting, uh, especially for Kryter. I've done one for before with Easy Diffusion. I want to uh, do a walkthrough with creating an image and showing how to do the prompts. 
because I think it's something that you need to know how to control to get the image you're looking for. So, so the... that's the Dream Shaper. And we can come through and take a look at Dragonaut. And this is the V9, the version 9, uh, not the version 10 of the um, Juggernaut Lightning model. So we'll see how that does. And we'll let that run for a moment. So again, Juggernaut Lightning model, we can uh, see some of that prompt adherence coming in nicely there. So we've got someone that looks like Doc, Doc Brown not getting the zombie. So that's a little bit um, sad. So we're going to come across to the uh, Zaxxus, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, version 2. And we're going to run that. And we'll see how that goes. And of course, you can upscale. So one that I did uh, earlier, and this one is upscaled. And you can see here that we have absolutely beautiful details and skin textures. We've got some glowing eyes. We've got that sort of radiation effect. And it, um, it come out exceptionally well. So we'll come across and we can see we're getting more of that um, zombie sort of look coming through here. So that's absolutely beautiful. Where we weren't getting that on the Juggernaut model, which shows that when we come across to the Zaxxus model, we're getting better prompt adherence. We're getting more of that Victorian look. If we come in here, we can see the lights in the background, but it's not really showing that much. We come over to this one, we have that Victorian sort of um, looking arches, balconies, and Victorian lights. And when we come in, we can see some uh, modern cars in the background. This prompt did say one car, uh, only one car in the image, but we're not really getting that. It may have confusion with the fact that I have told it to put a DeLorean in the image and then seeing the one car on top of it and it may not be realizing the word DeLorean is a car with the way its language model is created. So we'll do another one. Zaxitious. Okay, so here's another one. Uh, we've come through and I have done a couple of run through and um, I've run the Zaxitious non-lightning model. And this is the result of that there. And we can see that uh, the car's not really that much of a DeLorean. You notice the background is not as detailed. So running it again, um, car's not really a DeLorean. We're getting a good um, sort of zombie Doc Brown happening. We are getting the Victorian buildings. We're not getting a lot of details in the background. And we go back to the lightning model. And we're getting more details in the background and more sharper, more focus. So it's giving us more depth to our image. And again, we're getting really beautiful. So it sort of looks radiation affected there. And of course, you can just come through and you can select an area like this. So we can come through, select the area. And with um, the Ackley's Creta AI Diffusion 1.15, you can come down and do remove content and hit remove. And the first render, we got this. And then once we do that, we can apply that and then we can just select the car and we can do it again. And the reason we apply and we select that car is because without having the larger selection, it's less likely that it's going to do a car again. It did do a car, but we did a couple of runs on that selection and we got better renders every single time. So the render in the background, because it was selected on that, which is applied here. And then we have the other two renders that come through here. So we can see that one and that one, and that's the one that I like. So we have that. So we've got a really beautiful model. It's sort of um, dusk, not quite nighttime, uh, which was hit and miss with some of the images. Usually it's more accurate. Uh, on the 3060, it's far more accurate, which is uh, an interesting and odd thing. Now, I always recommend that after you've finished your fine editing and you're happy with your photo, click on here, go to upscale. I would change this and I would change it to something like the Dream Shaper. Uh, by using a second model, it's taking all this information from this image but using the other model to do the upscale. And that's how you can get more details in your image. So for example, okay. So this one here is an upscale. We've sort of got more of a, a younger look there because I didn't have the age in there. 
Um, but we can see that with the upscale, we get a lot more details. And this one did have one glowing eye. I actually went through and told it to put in a different eye. And there was some editing for uh, blending effects. And we can see there's some people walking around in the background. So we sort of have a uh, Doc Brown, which is um, been affected by the radiation that he's using to power his uh, time machine. Uh, this one was my favorite where he ended up having the uh, sort of glowing body going on there. Uh, absolutely love that one. Um, got the skin sort of coming away. <laughs> his eyes are affected. Love it. Uh, this one sort of come across more of a, a female character. As I said, I did not have the um, the age in the actual prompt. And we can see putting the age in the prompt of in the 60s, we get more detail. I won't upscale it because it does take a lot longer to uh, do an upscale. So we'll leave that there. So hopefully you find this helpful. If you want to see more reviews, uh, leave a comment below. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and get the bell on for notifications. So that's the uh, Zaxicious model, which I'll leave a link in the description below. And the lightning one is just beautiful. It's uh, prompt adherence is great. I will do an entire video on building an image and showing how those prompt adherences actually affect it. I might even use um, this prompt and actually remove all the weights and show you how it is affected by that and build it up from there. So if you think that's going to be helpful and something that you're interested in, leave a comment in the description below. If there's something that you want to know how to do in a Krita with the AI diffusion in regards to editing a uh, image, let me know below and I will see you in the next stream table this video. Thank you for watching my video and sticking around to the end. If you like my videos, it really helped me out if you could like and subscribe. It helps the YouTube algorithm to push my videos out there to more viewers, which in turn helps me and helps everyone. So thank you for watching my video and hanging around to the end, and I will see you in the next video.